Hello, today we're going to show you how to purchase a parking pass online. First, you'll want to go to uc.edu forward slash parking. Once the page loads, click on the I need a permit button on the left hand side of the screen. A new page will come up and you'll click the purchase permit button on the left hand side of the screen. This will take you to a website where you can purchase a parking pass. Next, click on the UC login button and enter your 6 plus 2 and password combination. When you're finished, click the login button. You'll be taken to a new page where you can start to purchase your parking pass. Click the get permits button in the left bottom part of your screen. Carefully read the instructions before clicking on the next button. Select the garage that you want and again carefully read the statements on the page. Once you're finished, check the box that says you've read and understand the above statements. Click the next button again. You'll be taken to a new page that lets you select the car that will be using the parking pass. If this is your first time purchasing a permit, you will have to click on the add vehicle button and enter a license plate and the make and model of your car. There is another video on our YouTube page with instructions on how to do that if you need help. If you have your car in the system already, you can check that car and click the next button. If you have multiple cars under your name, click the desired car, then click the next button. Just remember that you can only have one vehicle parked at any time. Once you click the next button, you'll select the parking garage or parking lot that you wish to park in. If the lot is full, please cancel the transaction from your shopping cart and click the back button to proceed with selecting another permit to buy. Once you've selected a parking garage or lot, click the next button. Your total amount due should come up. If there is a mistake on the order, you can remove a permit or cancel the purchase. If the order looks correct, make sure the correct email address is in the email address line before clicking the Pay Now button. Once you click the Pay Now button, another screen will pop up with the total amount due. If it's not correct, you can click on the View Details button to learn more or click the Remove button to cancel the transaction. If it is correct, press the Proceed to Payment button. Once you click that button, the payment receipt will pop up. We highly recommend that you print the page or screenshot it for your records. When you are done, you can click the Logout button.